Good evening and welcome back. So today it's the final group stages of the Champions League against Milan. Now we are top of that group now by two points so we'll only need a draw against Milan, their second, to get that top spot. We're already through to the knockout stages anyway. Made a few changes today just because of some tire legs and some downward arrows as you can see. The main changes what we've done is we've switched Diaby over to the left which is actually his favourite position in real life but I prefer having a left footer on the right wing. Going to play him over there. Carlos Perez is coming on the right. Castro will come continue up top with him being on that flashing up which means he's improving a lot more quickly at the moment and we've got Kang and Lee in place of Vieira in that attack midfield position. At the San Siro today at Milan, brilliant stadium, one of my favourites, obviously home to Inter as well but this is it, it's the final group stage game of the Champions League, we're already through to the knockout stages. You can see Botman in there playing for AC Milan, plays for my uh, my real team in life, Newcastle. He's had a brilliant season. Newcastle had the best defence in the league, or joint best defence, I think. Um, he was certainly at the heart of it. But anyway, let's jump in. I would love to sign him in this game as well, but he's uh, I've already looked at him and his release clause is ridiculous. Um, understandably so, but... Yeah, so we only need a draw today, technically. Of course, we'll be going for that win. And Job is in in the act straight away. Oh, wide. Like I say, I do prefer, prefer the inverted wingers. So, you know, on the right wing, you want to play a left footer. On the left wing, you play a right footer so they can cut in, take a shot. That's where we score most of our goals. But in real life, Diaby is a left winger, traditionally. Being left footed. And um, he's playing over there today. So I'm sure he'll do a good job. I'm sure we did play him once or twice in that position. And he's done well. He's such a magnificent player. Great signing. Well, that was a good tackle by Herrera, but of course the referee blows the whistle because the referees are morons in this game. It's definitely probably one of the poorest parts of the game is the refereeing. It's just the inconsistency, really. Mostly how such a great player. And Perez just checked his run there. It was actually a good pass, but he stopped his run just as I was playing it. Oh, Castro's in here. Nice ball to Perez. 1-0. Very unselfish from Castro. Nice little uh, pass to him, but a great finish from Perez. You can see Herrera wins it back. Great tackle. Castro could have had a shot. Played that out wide. They've all been attracted to Castro. Leaves Perez free. And he slotted away. And of course Perez is the standing captain today. With Vieira being on the bench. Great finish. It's only the second real attack of the game. I mean only what 10-11 minutes in. Diaby had that initial sort of half chance early on. Oh, nice play by Castro. Just a little bit behind the player. Kang and Lee. Liao, definitely the, the star man for uh, East Milan. The one to watch out for. His pace and power is... Uh, obviously, I had him on... Pairs 6, when I play that on the PC, the modded version for the updated seasons. Signed him and he's such a good player. Again, that's what a player I would love to sign. We just don't have the funds. And now that we've got Martinelli. Oof. I mean, I prefer Rafael Liao on that sort of left wing position. I know he plays as a centre forward a lot of the time. Um, but we've got Castro for that. We've got Martinelli on the left. So we don't really need Liao, but he was one that I was looking at. I would love, love to have gotten, but... 
Oh, good save. Castro was just falling over. He was just behind him. Good move, though. Here's Cousins. It's a nice ball to Perez. On to Castro. Diaby. Great save there. What a save from the keeper. And it was a lovely move. Castro to Perez to Kangin Lee. And then Diaby having the shot. Just getting his fingertips on it. Oh, glanced from Cossonier. It was just wide though. Nice effort. Looks like a foul played on though. Good save from Mandanda. It was a foul. The referee did play advantage and, and rightly so, I think. It was a it was a foul. And uh but yeah, look at the strength in there. Manages to dig the ball out too. I think it was Rebic. And Mandanda's made the first save for ourselves in this match. Hopefully won't have to make too many. Just absolutely hoofing that. Nothing delicate about it, just clearing it. Oh, look at that ball into Liao, though. Somehow it bounces off everyone and falls back to him. Good save, and off the line. What? What? What's going on here? That's not a penalty. Oh, come on. I mean, the ball wasn't even anywhere near him. And he saves it. Well done, Mandana. He had made a great save and then we cleared it off the line, but they give away the penalty. Maybe it was, I don't know. Rafael Lau did seem to be tripped, but it seemed like an accidental collision. Great save for Mandana, though. Apparently, it's very weird in, in Pez, though. It tends to be, if you go the right way, you save it. As a keeper. Oh, good defending there. One of the cosh a little bit at the moment. Tihobi does well, though. Really well. And he gets it back. Uh, just a little bit late on the pass, and not as much support as what he needed, really. Getting cut open in the middle though. Good tackle. Still get it back though. It just keeps bouncing back to them. Diaby. Ah, oh, it's a poor ball to Kangani. I wasn't really actually trying to play it to him. Oh, gets it back though. Kangani. Perez. Oh, good save. Should have been two. Should have scored there. Really good save though. The keepers have both made some very, uh, very good saves so far. Perrin, obviously from Milan's made two very good saves. Manana's made the penalty save plus the save he made just before we gave away the penalty. Um, and another one. So it's a it's a pretty attacking game from both sides. You see, it saves three each. Just as I was saying, that good timing. Ooh, Perez. Now Herrera bringing it away. Doesn't normally get that far forward. Here's Kangali. Castro. Ah, it's poor. He's just trying to flick it to DRB and he just didn't get a hold of it. God, it's nearly half time already. Can't quite believe that. He's costing you. Let's play it safe. 
Now Giabi. Castro. Giabi, maybe one last chance. Oh, Kangali, he got taken out there twice. And that'll be half time. Well, we'll jump into the second half, but that was pretty exciting. Well, looking at the stats of half time, AC Milan had 63% of possession, and I don't think that's ever happened to us. That much of a possession difference against us uh, doesn't happen. Oh, now Emerson on the overlap. I don't think he's even had the ball at all in this game until now. Cousins. Oh, great save. What a strike. It was dipping. It was low. It was to his right. Very good save. got to say, the keepers have probably been the best uh, two players in this game so far. Diaby. Oh, it's wide. Great play. Lovely touch from Castro. Yeah, that was for the foul earlier on, just before that chance. Lee Kang in got taken out. Or oh, Kang and Lee, I, I keep saying his name both ways. I think you can say it both ways, but I'm sure it's Kang and Lee is the correct way. Well, I'm not sure actually, but I think it is. Good tackle. Just need to keep a bit more possession, get a bit more control in this game. Nice play there. Now Emerson. Perez. Back to Emerson. Good play. Castro. Oh, pretty much straight at the keeper. Really good patient play there. That's what we need. We need just to stop giving the ball away. Giving chances to AC Milan. I say that and that header goes to them. Good tackle there from Cosano. Chance for a counter. We'll be making some subs soon if we can. We come in. DRB. Castro, nowhere to go. He's got like five players around him. D nearly got it through. Castro Ooh, gets the shot away, but it's blocked. It's end end stuff here. Nearly passed it straight to Milan player. Now Diaby, now back at. Yarby. Castro. How didn't he get the shot away? Don't even know if we're going to be able to make any subs. The ball's just not going out at the moment. Right, we're going to let it go out and we'll take a chance to make some subs. So we are bringing on JXC for Ruben Castro just because, like I said, he is going to be very tired now. Lee Kang in going off, Fabio Vieira coming on, great replacement. And we are going to bring off the left back, Backer, and we're going to put on Zirkov just because he's on a yellow and he is a little bit tired, so I don't want to take any risks. Some great players to be able to bring on, though. And for 1 0, it's been an exciting game. Okay, there hasn't been a lot of goals, but there's been chances for both teams. Great saves from both keepers. Zixi here early on. Oh, good save again. Zixi, first touch of the ball is to drive it towards goal. Has a, a very good shot. Let's have a look at this again. Really nice touch. Second touch and then smashes it. Okay, decent height for the keeper, but again, he's had to make the save. And he nearly gets on the end of it. Well defended in the end. Here's uh, Zergos first touch. GRB. Now Cousins. Vieira. Xerxes again. Oh, it's wide. But the two subs nearly linking up so well. 
certainly improved in the second half, but um, you know it's one just a one goal advantage. You're never safe at all. Is Vieira, Cousins. Ah, uh, pressed the wrong button. I meant to play it off to Vieira, but I sent the uh, shot. The pass was right there. For God's sake, that was a mistake. I should have just cleared it. And Origi scored. Just a punt upfield, and we haven't dealt with that all day. Header on, should have just cleared it. Don't know why I tried to take the touch inside. That's really poor. Great finish, though. We're not going to see the second replay. I feel a little bit hard done by the way with um, we've had a lot of chances, but you wouldn't say AC Milan don't deserve it. They've played well. Our keepers made some very good saves. Zixi, now Perez. Oh, what a finish! To make it 2-1. He has been on fire today. Kusan sent to Zirksi. This time he doesn't go for the shot. Lays it off to Perez. Lots of space. Fires it in the top corner though. No chance for Perez saving that. Great finish there. And after all that hard work from Eastman, finally making a breakthrough, and then they've just gone and let a goal straight away. They've got to feel a little bit aggrieved, maybe. Or angry at themselves. Jobby, he's had a, a decent game. Now Cousins. Vieira. Oh, good touch. Perez. Now Zirkov. Diaby. Zirkzy. Oh, good save again. Certainly being AC Milan's best player. The amount of saves he's made. Maybe one last chance to get that third. No, that should be full time. There it is. We get the win we needed. And we're now top of the group stages of the Champions League. And as you can see, we made a massive turnaround in that second half. Like I say, we did perform better first half. Although we scored and we had chances, I would say Milan were probably the better of the team. Very good game though. I would say Milan, if that finished in a draw, it would have been deserved. And Carlos Perez getting man of the match. Not surprised because he got the uh, the two goals, but Mandana getting the 6.5, Perez getting the 6.5. Perez should have got man of the match because he got the winner, he's got the two goals, but they should have finished sort of joint second as the best players. Great performance though. And just to show you, yes, we did finish top of the group stages of the Champions League, Milan second, quite comfortably in the end. Milan will be one to watch out for in the knockout stages. And the next match is back in the league against Athletic Bilbao. So join us for that one. Hope you did like this video. I think this is one of the most entertaining games we've played in a while. So hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And join me next time for the game against Athletic Bilbao. See you then. Cheers.